Hi folks, Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, The Chris Voss Show. Hey, we're coming here with another product. This is from AT&T. You can go to their website, at and with the fastest download local speeds. You can check out all their great phones. We're doing a versus comparison today of the LG G6 versus the LG V20. This is the newer phone that's just come out. So we're going to see how these to compare. Now, this is a phone that I use on a daily basis, and this is a phone that... Uh, Maybe I'll start using over this one or some of the other phones that we use. So let's check it out, compare these verses, uh, and see which one is better. Okay, specs to specs on both these babies. You're looking at the LG V20 is a slightly bigger by almost half an inch, and it has about the same sort of thickness, and the LG V20 is a little bit wider. Uh, both have uh, great looks to them. The IP68 rating for water dust shock resistance is only on the LG G6. You need to be a little bit more careful with the LG V20. They actually have the same inch display to screen with the same amount of pixels, although the pixel density is much higher on the G6 at 561 ppi compared to 513 ppi they both have really great screens uh, the camera on the lg g6 is only 13 megapixels versus the 60 megapixels with the lg v20 uh, both uh, you know these seem to be fairly similar the front facing camera of course will do 5 megapixels on both cameras so that's good both units uh, the speed though is quite a bit faster on the uh, LG G6, especially since it's a newer phone for that matter. But one thing I noticed is my LG V20 was very slow. The, even the camera activation was slow. Uh, even though I love the phone, it just kind of just didn't have the speed there. Uh, so it's definitely faster with the LG G6. In fact, it's the speed I love. It's got four gigabytes of RAM on both phones, 32 gigabytes of built-in storage on the LG G6 versus 64 gigabytes on the LG V20. Uh, and you can hold up the same amount of memory in both with a micro SD card up to 2 TB. The memory capacity is slightly bigger in the LG G6 with 3300 milliamp hours compared to 3200 with the V20. Uh, overall, they're both good phones. The one feature that's really awesome about the LG V20 is it has a quad DAC in it. It has a great sounding system that makes everything sound awesome with a digital analog converter. But uh, you can get it in the LG G6, but only in the Korean version. It's not available in the American versions or the European versions, unfortunately. And I really love that about the LG V20. That was one aspect of the phone that I've really enjoyed over other Android phones out there in the marketplace. Okay, thanks for watching. I gotta tell you, I love the new LG G6. I converted everything over from my V20 to the LG G6. In fact, I love it more than the Samsung Galaxy S7 as well. If you watch that versus video, be sure to watch for all the versus videos we have on the Chris Voss Show. Hi, folks. Thanks for watching. We give away stuff all the time from drawings, so be sure to enter, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and enter for notifications so that you get them on your phone for all of our videos. Be sure to click and watch all of our other cool videos on the Chris Voss Show.